Hi friends, and welcome to part two of We Read It One Night's A Court of Mist and Fury episodes. This week, our gang has a hot girl summer in the summer court, things start to heat up for Feyre and Reese, and in true We Read It One Night form, we discover that one of our characters is a vampire. If you're enjoying our Akatar series so far, we'd really appreciate it if you take five seconds to leave us a rating and review on whatever podcast app you're using. Now strap on those fairy wings and glue on those pointed ears and enjoy the show. I went through all the files on my computer, like documents, downloads, pictures, videos, like music, whatever, because I discovered that um, I had somehow gotten to the point where I was low on memory on my actual computer, which has never happened to me before. I mean, yeah. I'm surprised it took that long because like, yeah, because you probably have all the, I mean, these probably take up a lot of memory because they're not video, but like just the number, just the like sheer volume of. But yeah, so I went and I deleted everything and like freed up like a (laughs) hundred megabytes because I only had 16 left. But that (laughs) did involve like, a lot of it was just deleting a bunch of the old, like I, I kept like the final episode, but I just deleted everything else for like 2021. And then I'll like delete yeah. 2022 after this year is over. Yeah. But it honestly, the biggest, the biggest like increase in memory <laughs> came from when I deleted all of the videos of our family friendly lip, lip syncs. Like, except for the final ones and then, like, (laughs) all, like, my high school projects that, like, I also had all those video clips. There's so many, like, random video clips in my computer. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. No, that's what, like, gets my phone. Yeah, it takes up the most. Listen. Yeah. (laughs) And I guess you transfer them over, like, each time. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, those obviously aren't all saved. But, like, ever since I started trying to make longer, like, talking videos, those take up a lot of memory. I have to, like, be really selective about which ones I keep. Yeah. It was a little bit, it was, like, painful. My I kept my brain kept being like, oh, like, what if you need this? What if like ten years? Well, what if you want like five it. years? Well, yeah, from now, why don't you, you buy a? It? Why don't you buy like a flash drive? No, and put it on I there. Do. I have, I have, I have somewhere. I don't know how disc. to make it work. But how big is it? I have one that like I have no idea how to plug it into the computer anymore. It's like a big. It's a hard drive. Like I got yeah, it. But you I, probably I don't need for one that for big Christmas. Even. I remember that. Yeah, for backup, and I did backup my computer like once on that. But it, it's like that thing. It's like when you're packing for vacation and you're like, well, what if I shit my pants five times? Like I need 20 pairs of underwear. Well, it's you not know? like that like, because it's like memories that you don't want to delete. I know, but it was it was like I'm actually ha- really mad that like our our like childhood computer, like yeah, I saved what I could as I went, but like they both they threw it away. Yeah. I really hate that about our family. No one values digital records. We're not a very image or just memory prioritizing yeah yeah not at all I did I kept all that like I have a bunch of pictures like all our family vacations the the family vacations when I, I was the only one with the, yeah the, when I was the one off. with the yeah. camera and I was yeah. the licensed photographer like right. I kept yeah, we used to all trade of those off. I didn't like delete any of them mm-hmm. it was very satisfying to watch like the the memory bar go from like red to yellow <laughs> to blue <laughs> like increasing the amount that was left yeah well on the iphone it's so annoying because you have to like wait for it to, it takes forever to even like load that yeah, yeah. i haven't done it i haven't going through the to pictures on my phone apps, yeah yesterday i finished our, our trip to greece actually that's oh, yeah. not true I Wait, finished you, up what do you to mean? What did you Santorini. Do? I I went. I'm going through my phone, deleting pictures because are I they had twenty up anywhere. I had twenty six thousand pictures, Rachel. Yeah, but are they backed up anywhere? I keep deleting, deleting them. Delete, no, I'm not deleting all of them. Facebook's I'm deleting. For, I'm storage. deleting like the replicas. That's oh. what I'm saying. You know, like when w- there's like a hundred versions of the I same guess. picture, I'm keeping like two or three. Well, of, like, it's crazy the that you ones. still have those on your phone. Actually, like I had to, I've had to delete up to like this February, for the most part. <laughs> Oh my god! But like I have it backed up on like Google Photos and Amazon Photos, which I'm running yeah. out of storage on both of those. Boldly, it's, it's a lot of work. No, it's so much mental effort to like go through and delete duplicates. I, like I never, so yeah. it's just so much effort. They're still there, but like, do it right like, away, I still have still, all the like, pictures. So much work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've started doing it right away now, but now I'm down to twenty two thousand. 
<laughs> nice. That's really impressive. Yeah, I only have like 6,000 and that's like too much for my little phone. As far as like spending money trauma or like, you know, like being able to like splurge for the thing that's like more worth it in the long run. Like it definitely goes like I got the most of it. Like I'm the least able to do that. And then you and then Stefan. Yeah, I don't like level up phones willy nilly. Only do oh no, I'm not crit- this is not a, this is not a criticism. It's obviously a really that was obviously a really good decision that you got the bigger memory. And like every oh, time yeah. I get a new electronic, like with this computer, I like told myself I was going to do that, and then it gets to the moment, and I'm like, but I couldn't possibly spend an extra two hundred dollars. <laughs> like, it's like why would I spend fourteen hundred instead of twelve hundred? That's absurd for like something that's going to be so useful for like years down the line. And then you end up spending the two hundred dollars no, on know. like your Amazon photos. No, I know, and I recognize it. I don't know how to stop doing it, but I definitely recognize it. I think I just learned. Well, there's that, but I think I don't know. I think I just learned the lesson earlier that like, of like buy, it's gonna be worth it. Slightly more expensive, but nicer and will last you longer. I feel like I learned that in high school. Mm-hmm. That lesson. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, I learned the lesson. I just can't act on it. Like, I physically can't yeah. do it. <laughs> no, like. <laughs> anyway, you know who else physically can't do something? Vera. Vera, <laughs> she's scared to go under another mountain. Yeah. But she has to do with Reese to meet the bone carver, who's a mm-hmm. a tricksy little lad. Yeah. And I'm a little... Berries and cream. I'm just that's how I picture the bone carver. Just like really impressive that I never really got on that side of TikTok. I only got on the side of like people like talking about it. Berries, do you not remember that from when we were kids? Like, I I do remember when that commercial first came out. No, sure, like vaguely, but like then it was the whole thing on TikTok like two years ago. I know, I know. And I, I was like, you guys, I was like, TikTok, you're making fun of Instagram for being late for the party, but you guys are like a decade late for berries and cream. Like, well, come bring, on. they're bringing it back. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like, come good. on. Berries and cream is a classic. That's well, like yeah. an OG YouTube thing that you send your friends on like AOL. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, Gosh. so the bone carver is a wee little lad who uh, likes berries and cream because he appears as literally... <laughs> What later spoiler for later books as their future kid to Feyre like, he does to Feyre yeah he appears as something different Jurian to Reese to Reese yeah yeah but Amarin Feyre doesn't want to go under the mountain she's she's spooked because that's where the- and that's like the prison the mountain is a prison which we didn't say it's like a prison for the really scary people and like once you get sent there you can never come out but like Amarin boldly did escape by like turning into did. a high fae. Oh, By turning yeah. into like trapping herself into like a high fate body and then just like walking out, I yeah. guess. Just yeah, I don't really bold. silly goofy. <laughs> Feels yeah. like everybody could probably do that. <laughs> could figure yeah. out how to do that if she did. Like Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they just don't want to. They're like, it's not worth it. They're hoping for like another way to get out. I don't know. Sarah J. Moss keeps the mountain the way the mountain magic, actually pretty much all the magic, really vague, which like I think in the case of the mountain is good because like she never has to specify like what crimes people did or like what exactly they are. And it's almost, it's like in horror movies when they don't show the monsters. So it's like scarier, you know? Yeah. I think the, the, the prison mountain thing magic is, is going to be like a, the plot of a later book though in this series. Cause she's been like building that up over a few books of mm. like, what's the mystery of the mountain? Mm. Spooky. Reese has sent people there boldly. Yeah. Very bold of him. People, I feel like always forget that Reese like is actually morally gray like Farrah has mm-hmm. a thought right before they go in where she's like she's just basically like his evil side is just a front to like protect his friends and I'm like no no sometimes he just does shitty things for shits and giggles like like what I don't like I don't like sometimes sometimes it's like did you really need to do that or like was that just like the most expedient mm. way to get what you wanted you know what I mean mm-hmm. like yeah 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 and uh, we have an example of that later down the line with Feyre <laughs> yeah well I guess that's what I mean about like keeping it vague because like if she had said like a specific crime or like type of thing then we could be like judging Reese for it but this way it's just like no it's just like with the most yeah. like there's no other choice and you know we don't have we don't have the chance to like independently judge that for ourselves if there really yeah. was you know You'd be like put on your little lawyer hat, like actually according to subsection like, B of. <laughs> well, no, or just like does that feel like something that deserves like 
<laughs> an eternal <laughs> life underground that you like, can never Jesus escape from. Right. They literally bargain. He's like, yeah, the monsters will bargain sometimes for sex, extra food, or even a breath of fresh air. Right. And I was like, it was so fucked up. <laughs> I know. Like, why? Like, why can't you find like, yeah, it's ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Emran <laughs> plays a little tricksy on Feyre by giving her a na- necklace and being like, this is how I got out. Wear this necklace and you'll always be able to get out. Yeah. So that Feyre can like do her like trauma or whatever. So they go beat the bone carver who has a sick ass door. He, guess what he does? What does he do, Rachel? You'll never guess, listener. <laughs> what does the bone carver do? I don't know. He carves bone. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant like, what does he do for them specifically? Yeah, no, he, yeah, no, he carves, carves bones, bones and he like he, he he does like a question for a question or he tries to get Reese to like promise him Thera's yeah. bones when she dies. And he like tells them that Jurian's coming back. Yeah. And like answers a bunch of questions. Mm-hmm. And I and just like, realized. Book. What? No, I just realized that like, like Reese also does the, like a thought for a thought with Thera. That's like their mm-hmm. little like trauma bonding thing. And it's mm-hmm. like interesting that the bone carver kind of does the same thing. Yeah. It's maybe it's like a common method of bartering in the magical world. <laughs> the, like the the kind of like creepy dudes manual. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Question for a question. Rumple yeah. Stoltzkin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The bone carver is like, uh, you need to get the magical book of breathings. Oh, he also asked Thera. He's like, what was in death? Like, what was death like? And she's like, I followed the bond home. So remember <laughs> that, listener. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he wants to know like what it's like to die, and she's like, I don't really know. She's, she's like, like, I, I didn't. didn't. Which Sorry. again brings me back to saying like, what's like the anatomically like? I don't know what's what's going on yeah, like, like anatomically when you quote unquote die. Yeah, I mean, because you think a jury and he's been in like that jewelry for like five hundred years. And then he comes right. back. Yeah, like who's to say? Also, at one point, sorry, Reese is like going through like why each person in his court is like their role, and oh, he yeah. says like he's like more is who I call when the armies fail and Azrael yeah. and Cassian are both dead. Yeah. Like this is just like one of are we ever gonna find out like what exactly more what? power is? her power is truth like we never find out and it's mentioned like multiple times in this book and it's implied that like what she can be believed like you know she's telling the truth but like they know. fully don't believe her still and like, she's like the strongest gift in her family for like, like, like i just what gifts what does it do what does she do it's every <laughs> book every book is like more's gifts is more whose gift was pure truth and i'm like what does that mean does she have like truth lasers yeah i guess they think she's like telling the truth but that it's like how Thera thought that like fairies couldn't lie but like would still be you know like the typical like they can still like find a way to lie to you because they're telling like riddles or whatever like you know they're just like being tricky so yeah, i don't but know Reese implies that it's something that would be useful in battle like like cassie right. and asriel yeah, down true. yeah like like what? what like what is it like wonder woman she comes in with her lasso of truth and like just yeah. like whoosh, whoosh. i saw wonder woman does i have no idea she has yeah. a lasso of truth yeah i don't know listen <laughs> I just, I just, what happens more who are you what do you do <laughs> what do you do <laughs> god so the the bone carver tells them that they need to like destroy the cauldron or whatever like uh the king oh of there's Hyper a cauldron and, do we know and the that cauldron? there's Oh, I don't know. Maybe from the first book, like the cauldron that like allegedly came, all of life came from or whatever. Yeah. And you have this book that controls it, a book of spells, and it was split in two. And for some reason, the human queens, there's like five human queens, they got half. And for some reason, no one knows the summer court got the other half. So like they have to go to the summer court eventually is is the takeaway. Yeah. But before that, Reese is like, but we need to go to the summer court and like find this book. But like Farah, you should be able to like identify what it is. Unclear why. I I just thought about. I just realized that why would she be able to identify it? Because who does it belong to? Oh, because it belongs because to the it's summer court spelled man. to okay. the summer court lord, and she and has she... like a drop of power from all the different yeah. uh, courts. And presumably, she can she can locate all the the magical items because she's like made with a capital mm-hmm. M or whatever. Right, right, right. That's the yeah. affinity she has with them. And he's going to test this by taking her to the fucking weaver and be like, you have to go in and get like the item that belongs to me yeah so he <laughs> explains this whole plan like he comes home and the inner circle is described as like dogs waiting for their master to come home which is very anti cat scale and frankly disappointing considering how cat like Reese is. but mm. like he and then he is like yeah like yeah he, we're gonna go to the weaver and when he says that for the first time cassian is like mother's tits <laughs> yikes <laughs> 
I had never heard. I know. But this is also when we get a lot of, like, um, Farrah has a thought. She was like, it was always my choice with Reese these days. And I'm like, mm, is it? Is yeah. it? High bar, low bar, yeah. Um, and then she accuses, like, Reese of teaching her how to read so she could read the book of breathings cause, so that she can, like, wield it. And she's like, I'd prefer to be notified You're of any awesome future me. schemes. And he's like, yeah, absolutely. I'll notify you of any future schemes. He he lied with his fingers crossed behind his back. He's like, no, yeah, totally. But they're talking about they're going to the Weaver and she's described. She's quick, absolutely lethal. And I was like, is this Reese talking about the Weaver or Laurent talking about Victoria? Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> I didn't catch one? that. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, I only caught that in my like re- my three times speed realistic oh speed run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she goes to the Weaver and has to like it's like this cottage in the woods, like the creepy like dark part of the forest, whatever, whatever. Like Amarantha didn't even get there, and she stays in the house. It's like it's it's, it's giving like Hansel and Gretel cottage, like nice little cottage that like seems all welcoming, but like it's a trap. But also like hoarders buried alive. Like it's just mm. like she's described as a hoarder. <laughs> and I just well, like imagine is. the weaver how being she gets like, all this stuff. But like, like yeah. they're like, we found the weaver. Here's her house. Like yeah, she's like, been in this. You... Di- yeah, like how- yeah. <laughs> but, like how do you get stuff to her? Because we find out that like, I guess this is like a reveal for later. But like Reese's mom gave her this item. Maybe just like throw it at her door, <laughs> and then she's like, "Hello," and then she sees yeah. it on the ground. <laughs> yeah meanwhile you're running away yeah i don't know i don't know <laughs> it's like a, it's like the mountain it's like don't ask it's spooky just just like yeah except feel the spooky vibes yeah so then fair is like hunting for the ring to like prove that she can track things yeah and she's constantly comparing herself to a wolf which i think is interesting because she killed a wolf like like is this is that like is she just a wolf because like sarah j Boss wanted a metaphor like is there like a Farah's trauma yeah. thing going on. So she's she's searching around for this. Uh, she finds a sapphire ring. That's the thing that she needs to think. And it has a six-pointed mm-hmm. star in it. And I just watched a documentary series called History's Greatest Heists. And it's hosted mm-hmm. by Pierce Brosnan. Wow, um, Mom must have loved, it, must have loved of that. James Bond. No, I watched it by myself. <laughs> what? Mom would fucking love that. Probably. But... One of the episodes was on this jewel heist to the Museum of Natural History, and they stole a shit ton of diamonds with six pointed stars. So apparently that's Whoa. like a, a cool thing. Wait, and what's the shit? So are there like six diamonds? That's like a th- interesting, aren't those? No, a six pointed star it has like a star in the gem. What? There's like Made a pattern what? or something. Or are they, do the gems make a pattern? Like it's a collar or something. Mm. Is it like a star of David or like? No, I no. Six pointed star diamond. Oh, wait. Maybe it's a five pointed star. I'm just going to search for Yeah, because I keep getting the stars. <laughs> yeah. Wait. I mean, I, I'm getting other six pointed stars too. Yeah. Search it on like sapphires and they'll, they'll be like mm. one that comes up or like Museum of Natural History. Yeah. Like search the Museum of Natural History. Five po- it's a Natural five History. pointed. Mm. I just thought it was funny. I was like, I didn't even know those exist. And now that keeps happening. <laughs> that you like learn about things that exist? That I ke- learn about things. And then for some reason, like the next thing, especially with books, like I like like I read a book, like we, I read Rajar with Data, which is an episode of Listener that's coming out later. Mm-hmm. And um, the hero in that has heterochromia. And then literally the next book I read, the hero also has heterochromia. And then that book, the plot of it mm-hmm. is that the hero and the heroine have to drive to the Florida Keys because their flights get canceled. And Kat is supposed to be going to the Florida Keys on vacation. And she was supposed <laughs> to fly with Delta and her flight got canceled. Oh, no. And I was like, well, it's like it's once like you, you hear something drive. and you start noticing it everywhere, you know? I know, but those are such yeah. oddly specific things. Listen, and it's happened right. like multiple times. Like, I feel like it usually doesn't happen this frequently. You're not wrong. Listen. <laughs> My life is a rom com just only for other people. I'm Aww. just like I'm like Janine, the, Listen, the, like, wait. the quirky yeah. secretary in the background. <laughs> Listen, you just gotta wait for a year of book in the series. You can't jump order. Sometimes so Jan- Listen, sometimes Janine the quirky secretary doesn't get a book. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that's just like ridiculous. I'm sure. Listen, you have a better screener. You have a better writer than that. <laughs> okay. So Farrah, ta- Farrah takes the ring. She takes the ring and then she climbs up the chimney and it's really fucking gross. She has to escape. Like oh, it's scary. It's like. <laughs> yeah. It's really gross. And she like throws shit. She like, she like freezes and like the little voice in the bond like has to like give her. Yeah. Like, and then uh, she's like, I'm a yeah. wolf. I'm a wolf. And then she climbs up the chimney. I'm I don't know. Wolf? She keeps, she keeps telling herself she's a wolf during this That's scene. so weird. Yeah. Like, that is a, a theme in this book. Why is she? Wolf. everyone else is a cat and also she killed a wolf in the first yeah book. that's like, what i was saying like is there so some weird. sort of like yeah. there is trauma thing going on here but then like later on like amarin like like everyone else is explicitly yeah like referred to as like a yeah i don't know as like a dog i'm uh, sorry sorry it's like a cat like there's gonna be that scene later on with like amarin as a cat yeah yeah so Farah's plot twist guys spoiler alert this is Farah's engagement ring <laughs> Reese made her steal her own engagement. <laughs> yeah, because his mom like fucking put it there and was like, "Don't, don't marry someone unless don't marry someone who can can't do this." Yeah, like, what? no, it's gold. It's like, and, yeah, yeah. So Farah like escapes and then she like sees Reese just like sitting in a tree, like you know, just chilling. She's like, "What the fuck, dude? I almost died." And he's like, "I was here. Like, it's fine." And like, I don't know. Like, what would Reese have done? Like Farah if Farah, or if she'd gotten like fucked up, you know what I mean? Like, right? No, it, I, I know. just feel like he wasn't close enough to, to do anything. I know. Like maybe he just has so much confidence. Maybe he like does actually have some control over the Weaver. He can like freeze her like mid strike. I don't know. I don't or maybe know. like or maybe he boldly was like, "Well, Mama said, Mama said if she can't handle the <laughs> Mama heat, Mama said that it was okay. She might as well be dead. <laughs> Mama said that it was all." Yeah. Right. <laughs> she can't handle being married to me. She might as well. Listen, my mom's not. dead. So if my fiance has to die too, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, right. Like it's a sacrifice I'm willing, I'm willing to, to make. make. Yeah. But he's like, tell me what happened. And Fair is like, she detected me somehow. And I'm like, wait, what do you mean? You took the ring. You knew it's like Indiana Jones. You take the ring and it triggers the trap. Like, what What do you mean she detected you? Yeah, somehow? well, he was like, touch nothing but the ring. What's that? I from? just. I'm touching nothing but the lamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch like nothing but the lamp. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, okay, so I know the Weaver is evil and, like, theoretically and, like, eats people and, like, that's mm-hmm. bad. But, like, at least she's not wasteful. You know what I mean? Like, she that's uses true. every – she's, like, weaving with what? her hair. She, like, cooks with their fat. That's true. Unclear what she makes out of the fabric, but, like – She thatches her roof with their hair. That's so true. So like, our, our girl is a sustainable queen. Waste not, want not. Yeah. Like, Listen. You know, I you have to stay on the weaver for that. Yeah. Environmentally friendly. So like they come back to the to the sanctum, to the gang. And like this is this happens like throughout. Like I'm really unclear on how the like domestic magic works. Like Am- it's like Amarin just like waves her hand and makes like Farah be clean, like makes the dirt and like gore vanish. And like this happens many times, but then like and then, like, later on, like, more is going to randomly, like, dress Feyre, like, with magic and, like, do her hair and everything. And, like, it just begs the question, like, what are Keridan and Nawala and Keridwin, like, Feyre's servants slash friends? Like, what is that? Why do they even have servants? Well, the cleaning thing is something. And you get a hint of that here, but then it's, like, more explicitly explained in the next book where, like, they can make it disappear. But, like, they have really just, like, made it invisible like oh. it's still fair is like well, I can still like I feel like I can still feel it and like it's like just the trauma no but but in the next book she's also dirty and then like Reese makes it disappear and then he's like but only like a bath is gonna make you like actually clean so it's like oh. a temporary fix like I, I don't think it's like literally okay, just invisible okay. but it just like it like minimizes it as opposed well, to deleting like- it I don't know how the yeah. dressing works, though. I don't know whether yeah, she I mean, has that could just be just like, like an illusion, just like magic or whatever. But like, and then because I just they're going to be in that house and she's like the domestic magic of the house, like change the sheets or whatever. Like, it's I, new yeah. sheets, like, right. I don't. That's what I'm saying about she like keeps. Yeah, it's a, it's a soft magic system, as whoever would say, Neil Gaiman would say. Brandon, yeah. But- the series has a lot of magic houses with like domestic magic. It mm-hmm. seems to be like. Say, but then like also houses. people can like independently do that. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Two cat references. Reese describes, he's like, Vera, can you hear your power purring in your ear? 
(laughs) And then he's also his mental shield shields when Feyre like strokes them. Yeah. Arching arching. into a touch. It seemed to purr and then relaxed its guard. (laughs) (laughs) And that's. (laughs) Wait, speaking of big cats, I almost hit the neighbor's cat when I was driving (gasps) home yesterday. Oh, the black and white one. He is fine. Yes, he's fine. Mr. Tubbs. He is fine. But. I was driving down the street and there's like a car parked on the side of the road. And this fucker sprints out like five feet in front of the car. And then, oh, but then he was like, oh, that was actually pretty funny. So then he proceeds to just walk in front of me down the street. And then he walks (laughs) up our driveway and like keeps looking around like, oh, are you still there? (laughs) He's like, you to follow him. I was like, get out of the way. because He's just making sure you know where to go. Like, I need to, I don't want to hit you. (laughs) He's just making sure you know where to go. He was just being considerate. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, my dude, my guy. (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) Yeah. So the reason that Thera describes has to describe like gets the chance to describe Reese's mental shield is because he like lets her in to like show her why Ianthe sucks and like basically oh, yeah. Ianthe like tried to fuck him like when she visited last. So she likes to like, assault him. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, she tries to like touch him and he like slaps sure, her. Sure, away sure. With and he's magic, like absolutely but... not. And he's like I considered killing her, but like feels unnecessary. It's like right. Dude, it would have been. You know how many problems you would have solved if you so just true. killed Ian. That's actually so <laughs> you true. You know what it I mean? Like the plot. Yeah. The plot of this book doesn't exist if you right. just killed well, which is, Yeah. Well. Yeah. Which. Well, unless the king found someone else to do it, but like it's bold because then that would have been like we would have been like, why would you kill someone just for that? Whatever. Yeah. But then Fair is like, oh my god, is she moving in on Tamlin? Mm-hmm. Like, is that why Lucian doesn't like her? And I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's almost it's like she mm-hmm. was evil the whole time. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, she's also like hitting on Lucian, like trying to get with yeah, Lucian, that's what like, Lucian against makes his. Her yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lucian, Lucian is made uncomfortable by her. She makes yeah. Lucian, Lucian uncomfortable. Yeah. So then, like, so okay. So then they're scheming to get this fucking like book. They have to go to the human realm. They got to meet with the queens. So they send the queens a letter. And so they have to find like a yeah. They have to find a place to meet. And they're like, well, it can't possibly be anywhere else but like the sister and dad's house like Ferris, and it's like why couldn't Reese just like buy a fucking house in the human realm instead of That's taking over question. the family's house like That's it doesn't make any question. sense yeah because like Ferris sisters need to make a little appearance so you don't forget about them yeah I don't know and they get there and like Nestor knocks on the door her with bullshit yeah Wait, but Rachel she's what? wearing her hair bra- like a braided coronet around her head who is Vera Oh, like me. Wait, and I figured yeah! out a new way to do that. I had like the brain, the the brain blast of like a decade the other day. I was walking down the street in the middle of the night and like I realized so I can like French braid, do a French braid crown around my head. And like, but normally like half of it like hangs down and then I have to just like keep it up with a clip, which like puts a lot more yeah. weight on it. But then I realized that like if I just don't incorporate the other half as soon, then like I can make it be connected. Listen, it was great. Breakthrough. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. I wonder whether Feyre did that, whether she had to clip it up with a pin. Yeah. Well, you'll have I to exchange know. notes with Noala and Keridin. <laughs> yeah. Ladies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, she gets, and then fucking Mrs. Laurent, the bitch ass servant, the like housekeeper opens the door, like sees Feyre and she's like, this lady is suspicious. I know that she's a member of the family that lives here. But I'm not going to let her in. And I was ready to fight this woman. Like, even when Elaine appears and is like, oh, hi, Feyre. Mrs. Laurent was like, don't touch Elaine. And somehow it's Elaine's fault. Like, somehow this lady being oh, absolutely. A bitch is yeah. Elaine's fault. Absolutely. Well, also, like, she could just think that it's some kind of, like, trick and, like, it's someone impersonating. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. Yeah. Although, like, Nesta is also, like, once they see that there is a fairy a Mm fairy nesta is also like i'll fuck you up if you fuck up elaine and i was like nesta come on yeah of course no she's back on her old bullshit i know but i was mad at her for that well yeah aren't you like and like nesta's such a bitch in this scene she's such a bitch in the scene and i was like am i she's She's such a bitch in the scene i don't know but she's such a bitch in the scene rachel that i was like am i on elaine's side like am i like why am oh. I on T? Like, Elaine is like, come on, Nessa, like, stop being so, oh, like, yeah. whatever. And I'm like, 
I hate this. I hate. Well, no, actually, with there was like a with few, a light. Well, yeah, there was actually like a few little moments that I had like forgotten about that, like at least like that are witnessed by like Vera and the crew that Elaine is boldly like the better one. Like, I don't know. She at least is like winning some points for herself. Although Elaine is engaged. Who she engaged to, Rachel? This man who like whose dad wants to kill all the theories. Like the fact that Elaine and. To her credit, she doesn't know that Thayer has been turned into a fairy until just now. Like, they thought Thayer was dead, potentially. Sure, sure, sure. But, like, you're still going to go ahead and marry this guy who wants to kill your sister and all your sister who is the only reason you're alive? No right, loyalty. Yeah. No, and, no like, Anesta and hers, like, whole, their whole, like, goal is to, like, make sure that that engagement doesn't get ruined. Still. Is, like, fuck you, Elaine. No loyalty. No, I know. I fuck know. you. And that that right in the universe that like I was like Ness is a bitch, but like Elaine is committing the greater evil. Net evil is still on Elaine's ass. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean she does like yeah she does then be like well Farah like gave and gave for years like let us help her now or whatever. It's like right. I thought that's still something that needs to be said to Nesta. I don't know. You're you still what? giving your dowry to like the reason like her fiance's dad is so for it is because he wants her money to kill the fairies with to like use for fairy killing supplies like yeah like yeah. my dude my guy but then the bat boys appear mm-hmm. because they've been waiting outside and mm-hmm. the way they describe <laughs> sorry fair is like they appear and then fair is like elaine to her credit did not faint nesta to her credit did not hiss at them <laughs> I'm just imagining that like <laughs> in the corner <laughs> especially because her like the sexual tension between nesta and cassian in this whole scene is off the fucking charts because you know they're both like ah finally a worthy opponent yeah (laughs) you know they all hang out and they have dinner this is like where we get the beginning of the asriel and elaine shipping like there's a lot of people that ship them Mm. and i just want to say to all the girlies who ship asriel and elaine i don't hate your ship because just because I hate Elaine. I hate it because I hate Asriel too. <laughs> and even though they deserve each other, they don't deserve to be a main couple. And also he gives her a bland smile. Like his first his first expression that we get described as reacting to her is a bland smile. And considering that the other person he has the hots for is more and like we know that he has no qualms of like sexually molesting her with his eyes. Like, Ew. I just like... what. Well, it is ew, Rachel. It is gross. He is gross. He's a little <laughs> creep. He's a little fucking creep. Yeah. So then they go to bed and Re- Reese warms up the bed and Fair is like, oh, that's nice. And Reese is like, Amarantha never thanked me when I warmed up the bed. <laughs> and I honestly, I don't know why I find that so funny <laughs> that Reese like, like did a little magic bed warmer. For Amarantha yeah, why whenever would they do that? Fuck. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Maybe it was for his benefit too. He's like, I might as well right. be comfortable if I got to do this. <laughs> like. Yeah, that's we're true. under a mountain. You don't want cold sheets. <laughs> yeah, nice sweatshirt. Where'd you get it? You were boldly gonna throw it away. It's such a great sweatshirt. You're a lot. It doesn't look good <laughs> on me, and I sweated a lot what? in it. I sweated a lot in it. It was you like never not... washed it, did you? I wore it like three times in my life, and I took it I off frequently. Actually, washed it. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. No, it's okay. It's a great sweatshirt. It's so warm. It's a guaranteed blanket warmth. Listen, I'm happy for you. I was very disappointed that the Mm -hmm. sweatshirt did not. It's not even a sweat. It's like a fleece. It's like a pink fleece, <laughs> like a gold, yeah, like the golden great. fleece, so but like not like a like the fleece, like a literal yeah, no. like straight but not off on the, the inside. But yeah. but important to know is not it's not fleece on the inside. It's a, and then Farah also finds out that Reese is like paying her has like set up a bank account in Valaris and is like paying her money for like quote unquote working for him, which like I guess makes sense. Like fair enough. Yeah. I mean, she just, yeah. He also at this point is like, you know, it's going to take a long time for me to forgive your sisters, but you know, he really just means Nesta based on what happens in the right. later books. He's like, Elaine, yeah. you're, Elaine, you've done nothing wrong in your life ever. I know this. Yeah, well, <laughs> I love I mean, you. and that's like, what I was kind of saying a little, trying to say a little bit ago, like, based on, because I was trying to pay attention more than, like, maybe I did before, because I didn't realize that the sisters were going to stay relevant, I think, the first time I read this. 
like no really like i didn't realize how yeah. relevant they were gonna stay so trying to pay attention and like from what reese witnesses like elaine is at least like trying like at least does like say that she's feeling bad and like tries to like accommodate Vera and like whatever and Ness is the one who's like fuck you all I care about still is Elaine's safety and like Elaine being able to marry this fucking man and I'm like sure but just like the fact that Elaine is marrying a guy that wants to kill Vera just seems very like it's it's really glossed over I feel like this is not given I guess so I know I guess I I know and I guess it just goes back to me not being able to take the humans seriously like I just don't understand why (laughs) they're (laughs) <laughs> just kind of like ever i guess like i don't know <laughs> what do we compare them to cicadas i think i was re-listening to that yeah, like, you're like, so silly, like oh, it's so silly like oh that's so silly like yeah it's cicada wants to kill me like okay oh no like if you wanted to marry a cicada that wanted to kill me i'd be like that's really silly it's like really silly and goofy of you but like co op sis like i don't know <laughs> like, <laughs> i'm just in a silly goofy know. mood today yeah i w- <laughs> <laughs> all right so fair is outside fair is outside and like reese leaves her alone to like practice her magic or whatever and then the adder attacks her and she's like ah mm-hmm. and then reese like beats it up grabs her like, yeah yeah reese like beats it up and like yeah. Azriel comes and like disappears with him to interrogate him but then mm-hmm. he basically is like, mm-hmm. yeah, I wanted to see, like, who was going to try to kidnap you. And so Fair is like, you use me as bait. And Reese is like, mm-hmm. yeah, and I do it again. And this mm-hmm. is what I mean, listener, about him being like, yeah, I'll definitely inform you of all my future schemes. He lied. Like, mm-hmm. he just does it. It's literally like two chapters later. He's like, oh, yeah, sorry no, about and that. And she's like he's really like, no. mad and like beats him up. Yeah. Right. No, and like yeah no for sure and she's like he's like let's go let's get you breakfast and then go home and she's like Valaris is not my home and there was hurt in his eyes like good <laughs> sad boy yeah sad also boy. like something sorry yeah <laughs> so like just speaking of the adder like I remember the whole time like when we were doing this reread and like before I was like why do they talk about it as if there's only like one adder like that's just so why would there only be one kind of that fairy and then like later on it's gonna turn out that I'm like I'm right like <laughs> yeah like why i don't why know why they or whatever why is he that there's only like the one of each adder kind. like why like, is it's like the... the surreal like the adder the surreal the morrigan <laughs> <laughs> well more is one of a kind yeah the surreals are like it's that there's only like a handful of them i think so like it's a, it makes it... a little bit more sense than the adders which are literally like okay. swarms. there's but, like, those cicadas like, but she still talks about the surreal yeah yeah, not the cereals. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah. So I then they, they like do eventually go back because she does deign to go back with them. And like, yeah, I mean, that's fair. You get your allotted cereal. <laughs> <laughs> and um, <laughs> Reese tells her about, they go back to Valaris and then Reese tells her about the interrogation and he like lets her into his mind to see. Mm. And I'm kind of obsessed with the fact that Azriel's knife is called Truth Teller. Mm. Like, I'll give him that. A point for Azriel. Like he gets one, right. like and that's, that's pretty why, badass. Yeah, and that's like his gift. Like if anyone's gift is truth, it's his. Like, yeah. <laughs> like if anyone's gift is actually gift, gift is actually truth, it's his. Like I don't know. Yeah. It's like really bold. <laughs> so he's showing Vera yeah. the interrogation, which is basically like useless. Like they don't really learn anything, except how convenient well, to, like, that proof, while yeah. while he's showing her this memory, that he's thinking about how sorry he is. For using her as bait. I was like, huh, how how convenient that you just happened to be thinking about this in this memory. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Little manipulative bitch boy. I mean, it's yeah, fair enough. I know, but I mean, like, listen. huh, two in one deal. <laughs> like, apologize and show her that. I mean, they like, do whatever. boldly like share emotions, yeah, to prove that he like trusts her to like see to be included in shit. So then she goes to return the, like, Amarin's necklace or whatever. And she goes to Amarin's apartment, I think, right? Sure. Or maybe before. And Amarin's like, oh, yeah, like, it's fake. Like, I just wanted to, like, you know. Do <laughs> oh, you gave it back. Real, like, the old placebo effect. Yeah. <laughs> even though she, like, threatened her and was like, I'm, I will I will hunt you down and kill you if you don't return this. And even Reese is like, yeah, you better take this seriously. Like, Amarin guards her treasure. Yeah, well, Amarin's like that with, like, re- all her jewels. Like, regardless of whether they have magical property. <laughs> Right. No, no, no. But I don't know why she like, she's like a surprise that Vera gave it back. Like, I, yeah, I don't know. But 
<laughs> yeah, Farrah's like, but Reese was staring at it the whole time. And Amron's like, yeah, that's because he gave it to me as a Christmas present like 200 years ago. <laughs> yeah, he's probably yeah. wondering. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, she gave you that? From the adder, like from the adder, they, I don't know, Farrah learns there's like a situation with the spring court, like the, or like mm-hmm. Azra like goes to the spring court, like he can't get in. Mm-hmm. So Farrah's like, I got to write a letter to Tamlin to tell him to chill that like I left mm-hmm. with my own free will that I'm fine. And I was like, listen, I appreciate the gesture of this, but like, I don't even know if Tamlin knows that Farrah knows how to read and write. So like, maybe this wasn't the best That's way so to true. convince him. Yeah. Like. Of course he's going to think it's a trick. Right. No, like, why wouldn't he think it was a trick? Like, she doesn't even, I'm sure there's magical ways to, like, prove the authenticity of a letter, you would think. And she doesn't, like, they don't do any of that. Like, not that it would have worked, probably, but, like, because he thinks that she's, like, yeah, under no. a spell. But, like, it's just, like, not the best. Dude, like, my dude, does he even know that you have this skill? <laughs> like, because I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then, they, yeah, they go out to dinner. Can you even read? Yeah. <laughs> Can you? I didn't know you could read. Find out that Amryn drinks blood, like exclusively. Like she, she's a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They go out to dinner. They learn that um, Amryn breaks blood, drinks blood. But also, more importantly, we learn more we get a casual mention. <laughs> more. <laughs> we get a casual mention of fairy sports. Like they have a little sports debate. There are fairy sports. We don't get any more details about this. I can't no. remember this ever being mentioned again. Or and before. I'm not a sports girly, but like I want to, I want to know like what what fairy is there like fairy rugby? Like what are fairy sports? <laughs> huh? I totally missed that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this was the first time I noticed it. I was like, wait, hold the phone. Why in Nesta's book does she not like join a soccer league or something? Oh, like, well, does they that they have? I thought there was. There is some kind of mention of like some kind of thing that her friends are part of. I thought no, like I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I want to know more about fairy sports. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah. So anyway, they they all go out to party except for Reese and Vera who like walk home. Mm-hmm. They go on a little nighttime, a little romantic Josh. stroll. Yeah, and uh, Reese says there are a great many things I wish to do that I don't get to, and you know he wants to finish that sentence with "like you," but he doesn't. <laughs> so he does have restraint. But yeah, she also hears the music that she heard in the cell, and she realizes like, oh, Reese sent it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like she hears it. Yeah. yeah, she hears it like playing on the street, and she's mm-hmm. like, oh wow, oh shit, that was you. It's just bold of them to like have kept the same music for like. So, well, I guess it's like 50 it's only years. Been 50 years. Like, only been 50 years. <laughs> I guess they're both they, like, time is just so like it's both like you're of age when you're 18 yeah, and also you're no young sense. at 80. Like, that's the right. truth. Yeah. Well, it seems like the men are young at 80, but like somehow, like, the, like I don't think they're marrying off the boys at 18. I don't know. Yeah. I don't I know. Don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So they're off to the summer court, Adriata, which is like so creatively named. Picture the Adriatic coast, like red roofs and shit. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> like, literally. This is this is when I, I think we talked about last episode about like the Greek versus like Celtic yeah, inspired we did talk about like Greek nights. And like I yeah, mean, I was like, like why? Like, like it's so wholesale. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's like wholesale, I take it. Yeah. Cassian's not allowed in the summer court because he destroyed a building the last time we were there and we get no <laughs> more details. And this is another thing. No. I want Sarah to release like a little booklet of short stories, like fairy sports games, Cassian destroys building. Maybe he yeah. destroyed the building because they were playing like football. He like throws a throws a football at it. And like it's so he does it so hard that like the building gets knocked down or like he tackles someone into the building. Yeah. The like I. Give me like I'm coming up with all these options here, Sarah. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yeah, which is it? Except for the people are boldly like, are they have like silver hair and like tan skin or some shit? Well, it's I guess it's supposed to be like dyed, like bleached by the sun. No, it's just like situation. so. No, it makes sense. It's just like, and, like yeah. Listen, you know I'm not a fan of yeah. summer, but like the summer court does sound sweet. Like I think objectively, I probably would be miserable in it, but like the description, I'm like, this sounds nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. No, I know you would. I would love it. It's my my people. Yeah, but <laughs> and so they meet the like so the the high lord of the summer court is like very new because his cousin who was previous high lord was like killed under the mountain. I think Fair actually like witnessed it right for like some kind of rebellion. And then he has his like sister there, and she's like 
she's like, we should probably we like we should technically have to return Vera to the fucking Supreme Court or whatever. And Fa- and Reese is like, you better fucking not or like I'll kill you. And she's like, that's bold. It's like you're threatening us. And he's like, it's not a threat. It's a promise. Yeah. <laughs> the classic line. <laughs> love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're all like chatting, but like he's also trying to like she also tries to flirt with Reese at one point. So I'm like, I don't know, maybe she's into that, like, you know, the threat kink, <laughs> like something like that. Like, mm. I'm gonna kill you. Oh yeah, daddy. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. <laughs> we also, yeah, anyway, we get like at this time we also get like a hype up of like Farah's power. I mean, we can we're continually getting hypes up with Farah's power, and I just feel like that's never it's like the same thing with more like it's never really fu- like fair is like powerful but like it's in, like they're constantly like yeah you're more powerful than everybody else and i feel like we never really get well it's just that she like can we do, never like, get all the powers there's yeah. only like a drop of it so maybe she should be able to like combine it in like new ways no, but you i know? think she's supposed to be like ultra powerful as well like it's not even that she has a wide range it's also that she has like she's ultra powerful i don't know i think it's maybe like a consequence of the fact that like all of our main characters are ultra powerful. Like there's no normal people right. in this gang. So it's like maybe in comparison to all the rest of the fairies, she's super powerful. But like we can't ever, we don't ever get that because like, you know, she's with more whose power is pure truth and like most powerful High Lord ever Reese and like spooky thousand year old monster Amran vampire <laughs> thing. <laughs> like, yeah. no, absolutely. Yeah. So, like, Farrah gets along really well with what's-his-face Charquin. He's, like, highlighted Charquin. in the summer court. Yeah. yeah. And he tells her about how he wants to break down. Well, he's, like, what's it like in the, like, what's it, how's this compared to the human world or whatever? And Farrah's, like, the, you know, the human world is a doggy dog world. Like, it's all about who has wealth and who doesn't. And Tarquin is, the like, money. yeah. Tarquin is, like, babe, we also suck in Prithian. Like, don't worry. Like. Like, no, I know. It's like bold of her to not think that. Yeah. But like, honestly, we love a class conscious king. Like Tarquin's like, yeah, I want more like mm-hmm. equality among the fairies. And I'm like, oh, yeah, look at you, Tarquin. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Farrah's like, oh, it'd be like so easy to be friends with you. I'll also fall in love with you, whatever. Like this whole time is just like Reese and her being jealous of each other. Like Farrah's like, and Reese hasn't even complimented my outfit once. <laughs> like and even I think I look good. <laughs> Reese, there's like I'm not jealous of Reese flirting with other people. Yeah. Meanwhile, like Reese is only flirting with other people to make her just like they're so toxic. No, I know, and she's like, and it's weird. Like, I feel unhappy. Like, not just despair. Like, I feel an emotion. How <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she she gets a tour of Tarquin's treasure trove. And they're in the middle of the treasure trove, and she's like, "What's the most valuable thing in here?" He 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 he. And Tarquin's mm-hmm. like, "I'm looking at the most valuable thing in here." And I was like, "Goddamn mm-hmm. smooth!" And I was like, "This whole summer court thing, like, until they do like their little heist, like, it's just hot girl summer here. Like, everyone's just mm-hmm. flirting and like casually. Tarquin gives her a fancy ass necklace. I was like, "This is great." She's like, "Maybe I'll just stay here instead." Like. And Tarquin's like, yeah, sometimes I think that, like, maybe Reese was just, like, Amarantha's whore to, like, spare us all from her attention. Like, yeah. it's like, ooh, we're getting a little too close there, buddy, to the truth. Yeah. She's like, can you – she she acts – she gets, like, mad. She's like, shut up. Stop talking right now. Mm-hmm. You stop Wait, that right shut now. Shut the fuck up. And Tarquin's like, maybe you should be my – can you be my emissary to the human realm, too? Because, like, I don't know if we said this, but, like, that's her For title everyone. with Reese. Yeah. Yeah. And then she that's goes back she up. And, and, yeah. And Reese is, like – laying in her bed the way that he did under the mountain like whatever and then she's like look what Tarquin gave me like whatever and Reese is like you want me to buy you jewelry Farah then like I thought you were aware it was all bought for you I was like what was all bought for you like I don't get I don't know the jewelry I don't understand well I was also like is that somehow a dig at Tamlin like Tamla's also buying jewelry like what's instead of it being like family heirlooms I don't understand I didn't get that (laughs) I just listened to it and I don't understand I like puzzled over it but he's like she's like oh did it get under your skin that like he gave me it and he's like what got under my skin was that you smiled at him and I was like Mm -hmm. you're such a baby (laughs) such a little baby I (laughs) know yeah but now it's time to get down to business. Hot Girl Summer is <laughs> over. Now it's time for fucking around and finding out fall. And Feyre, yeah. like, the, Feyre's like, so what about the book? I heard that there's this book here. And then everyone's suspicious. But then she, like, fucks with Tarquin's mind, which is kind of sad. She, like, like goes, yeah. Like, yeah, she to, like, make him she feels guilty. not be suspicious. Yeah, not worry. 
And like they, they got to go on, like they got to do their little heist tonight. Mm-hmm. But before they do, I just want to point out because Feyre once again thinks this the number of times in the summer court where Feyre is like, I wonder who Amarin will eat tonight is insane. It's net like so casually. She's like, who's Amarin going to eat tonight? Wait, what do you mean? Like suck their like I guess she thinks Amber's just gonna go around sucking people's blood. Like, yeah, I, don't she's a vampire. I don't know. I don't know. Amber's like like multiple times Farah has this thought. Like a go or a sheep is what she normally likes, right? Amber's been like flirting with Varian, who's like Tarquin's second command this whole time. And like there was that there's that one scene with Pharisee to them. She's like, it's like she's a cat playing with a dog. Like she was practically washing herself. Like, <laughs> so that's what I was saying about like Amber is canonically a cat. Oh, absolutely. Like unclear about the other people, but yeah. Without a doubt. Well, Cassian's a dog. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Azrael doesn't get to be an animal because he sucks. Um. <laughs> yeah. So then, like, so yeah, Amber and her have to go do the heist. They find out that it's like in this temple that like goes underwater often. Like when the tide it's like goes covered in by high tide. Yeah. So like they have to go in at low tide. And Farah has to like pretend to be Tarquin to get into this and like use his power, which like does seem really duplicitous. Like I get why she feels guilty. Like just the fact that like the High Lords like brought her back to life. And I guess I guess it was a game repayment of her debt to that, like of her doing yeah. something for them. But like it does seem like bold to be like using someone's power that they gave you against them, you know? Like yeah. I don't know. No, it's uh yeah, no, she does feel guilty. She's constantly like, oh, like I wish. We could just tell him and like no, and I get it just for Tarquin. I just mean like in general, like even if Tarquin yeah. wasn't nice, yeah, she considers telling him, and she's like, but that would require yeah, too much yeah. trust. But she like it's funny, like it's just like, the way she like gets in, and she basically has to like gaslight the door. Like she's like, no, like I'm your friend, and the door is mm-hmm. like, I don't know, it's just like yeah. <laughs> just fucking with people's mind. They also the door is also lead, which is somehow like nullifying to fairy's yeah, powers. That's what I was gonna say like why I was very for them? Why wouldn't the humans have figured that out instead of iron? Yeah. Like, I don't get like we it. established that iron doesn't work, but like and like ash does work, like ash would. Yeah, lead seems new. I don't, I don't know. That's like and never then, like, mentioned. And then, and then like later on, the like chains that like hold Reese. He's like, no, this is just like a special. This is like one of the one of Hybern's biggest assets that they have. This like special mountain ore that they can like mine. It's I think not it's like lead. magic chains. Like he does some well, sort sure, of like but it's spell also like a, a it special like kind of. But it's also no, it's a special kind of stone. He specifically says uh, they like mine it. And it's not lead. So like I have no I, idea. Yeah, I, the lead thing is like, I mean, lead is bad for everyone. Like <laughs> you wouldn't want to wear a, re- a lead ring because you would like act, probably accidentally eat some of it. Like I don't know. <laughs> In general, but, PSA don't. <laughs> right don't, don't be eating lead, lead. <laughs> yeah that's why lead paint chips because kids fucking eat them yeah yeah i don't know and then like so so then all the water rushes in and she has to like piggyback amarin like has farah never seen indiana jones everybody knows that when you take it you have to replace it with something of equal weight uh, like you can't just like snatch it off the platform it's also like liar yeah the last second like, yeah come on <laughs> yeah, yeah all the water rushes in and guess what comes back sarah to sarah save brings them back the water the water rates they like come in like fucking mermaids it's giving percy jackson when like the sea hippos or whatever the fuck save them at one point do you remember that it's the one sea them. hippo yeah 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 yeah, like yeah. magical the sea cow yeah. or whatever yeah like, and then yeah. the, the water rates are like our sister's debt is paid yeah and, like slither away this should have happened with the mercenary in the first book like it's like Sarah, you know how to do this. Mm-hmm. You know how to like bring back the minor character that was mentioned. Oh, Remember the mercenary right, in the right, first right, book? Right. Yeah, that we were like, what true. happens to this lady? Like she gets but the she whole was, scene. Like, yeah, <laughs> but she didn't have like a debt to repay. She was just like paying it forward. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, I know. Would but keep expecting like, her to come back. Yeah, I really. If the mercenary doesn't come back, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> Could have just been to like set up that like fairies can fuck you up, like the scars on her legs oh, or whatever. I, know. I don't know. It's I weird. just feel like we didn't need that. Like I don't know. No. Whatever. No. Like the fact I mean, that Farah is the fact that Farah is willing to kill a giant wolf just exclusively because it's a fairy. I feel like just tells us all we need to know about no, like right. fairy human relations. Right. Like we've had. Yeah. No. You're. I don't know. Listen. Mercenary 2026. <laughs> um. Yeah. And so she tells him about the waters. Everyone's like, like Amron's like, this is fucking hilarious. Like only you would do this. <laughs> like it's great. <laughs> yeah. And then it turns out. So the box, the book, like, talks to her and is, like, like, calls to like, and they open it. Oh, my God. Has someone created a drinking game for like calls to like in Sarah J. Moss books? Like, I swear to God. <laughs> and it just gets worse in this year. With each book in the series, she uses it more and more. Like, I need her editor to do, a, like, a control yeah. F 
and be like, Sarah, you got to delete half of these. <laughs> like we can't. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Vera's like, oh, I guess my reading lessons were unnecessary because I don't fucking understand this language. Like it's so fucking weird. Amarin's like, that's my, that's the Lushen Hagosheth, whatever, my holy language of my people. <laughs> and Reese is like, I thought it might be. Oh. <laughs> Wait, but I, I didn't wondered, want your hopes up just in case. I wondered because I recently read, like, are these, like, do you have word marks in Throne of Glass, which are also just like a general, like, Celtic mythology, like, word, whatever. Are they word marks? Mm, and like, is right. Amran potentially a Vogue, yeah. which are like the villains in the Throne of Glass series that are uh, that are also uh, like because uh, because the the lore of the Throne of Glass series is that there were portals between worlds and people went through and got stuck. Mm, I don't think she's a Vogue. The Vogue are like canonically or she's evil, evil, right? Because you finish the like, books, are there good Vogue? Mm. Is it possible to be good in a vault? No, there, no, she's definitely something, but there's like infinite number of worlds. Like even in Throne of Glass, she goes into like different. Yes, but also in Throne of Glass, I guess this is kind of, a, I don't remember which book you find this out, but it's kind of, a, I guess it's kind of a spoiler listener for like a later book. The gods of their world, of the Throne of Glass world, are also just creatures that got, that popped into from another world and got stuck. Like They have when... gods? Yes, they have gods. That live in the world? Yes, like actual gods. But like that's what the gods are like. That's like a recurring. Theme yeah, I mean it's in, convenient. Like, yeah, books. the portal. It's like how they have magic. Yeah, creatures. So like is Amran like one of them basically? They're talking about Jurian, and they're talking about how mm-hmm. Jurian would ally with Hybern to get Miriam back, who's like his old flame or whatever, and like dumped mm-hmm. him and like went off to live on a cool island with her hot yeah. fairy prince. Um, and they're like, nah, he would never do that just to get you know his old girlfriend back. <laughs> I'm like, honey, you got a big storm coming. <laughs> right but like that whole setup makes no sense like that there's i'm willing to like overlook it but like that whole like jury everyone's motives there like i mean sure you can all like hand wave and explain away and be like it's because jury went insane through like so many years of being trapped but like it doesn't quite add up the motives there we can talk about that later with the incentives i don't know there's a lot i don't really understand a lot of the motives the it's bold of them to like believe it yeah okay it doesn't make any sense for him to be on a high burn side like that makes zero sense because he's like pro humans like that's his whole thing that they like so immediately believe that is weird right because like even if you were saying he went a little bit insane and like Miriam and like went to like you know use bad use two evil tactics for like his you know I mean such that he like yeah. almost became as evil it still wouldn't make sense that he'd want to help the people that he was like the fairies that he was fighting or like that boldly kept him enslaved in the ring like that's who Amrith worked for the King of Hybern like yeah, makes yeah sense. like but okay yeah it's bold yeah. Of, the, of him of the King of Hybern to believe him <laughs> yeah <laughs> easily tricked listen so then they. <laughs> They get some blood rubies in the mail. Oh my god! Which is apparently how <laughs> Summer declares a blood feud like the right. summer before, which is listen ten out of ten for style theming <laughs> a plus. I love it. I mean, they did. We did establish that the summer court's like whole like aesthetic is like treasure hoarding. Like before, mm-hmm. he's like Tarquin's like yeah, my ancestors were like really into it. Now we just kind of do it for tradition. So like they have an image to keep up mm-hmm. reese has like grumpy evil blood, boy. blood rupees yeah and, and the summer court has sick shit that they send like dramatic the most dramatic way possible to put like a death Absolutely. warrant on someone's yeah listen but then Amron's like oh these are nice <laughs> Like, I'm yeah like, these into a necklace <laughs> yeah she, she, or no she like uses that as the paperweight like yeah. which is really funny because she's like i have so many of my own yeah. yeah no it's really funny and then like um and then Reese is like really bummed because he's like I don't remember what minor mistake he like he's like oh if only I hadn't done this like they would have it would have been like plausible deniability oh. they wouldn't have like known that it was he, us right he knocked out the guards because he was like on lookout duty and he knocked instead out the of guards instead their memory. of wiping their memories so like one of them woke up and mm. sounded the alarm is what happened okay Okay, whatever. Which was yeah, pretty he, like, stupid. Like, like, why oh, the fuck wouldn't stupid, he alter stupid, their stupid. memories? <laughs> yeah. yeah like, why the fuck wouldn't he alter yeah. their memories? Like, my dude. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. So, like, so then, like, she tries to cheer Reese up. Yeah. So, Reese is all, like, sad and mopey and, like, you know, sad he's and like, mopey. Oh, it's so, he's, like, the consequences of mm-hmm. my own actions. It's so hard. Like, I mm-hmm. have to convince everybody I'm evil. And it makes me sad. And there's nothing they think I I'm could evil. do about it. Yeah. This isn't my choice at all. Like, I'm so sad. Everyone thinks I'm Because then they I'm think evil. I'm evil and it sucks. Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> I make like, them think I'm evil. Dude. And they think I'm evil. 
It's, yeah. Ah, God. And then, like, Boldy acting evil by, like, stealing shit from them as their guest. Yeah. And then, like, Vera, like, cheer- tries to cheer him up by, like, flirting with him or whatever. And then, like, he puts this, like, fucking, like, lingerie shopping fantasy into her head. I don't know. <laughs> and then at one point, he's like, am I supposed to deny that I find you attractive? I don't really remember what triggers that, but I wrote down that quote. (laughs) It's just something to keep in mind, I guess, just as background. And I guess it's just boldly. Like, I guess we're all just boldly overlooking this. But, like, the fact that Fairy is, like, 20 at this point. Like, that was the birthday that everyone forgot about. (laughs) Yeah. She really is 19 and never fucking learned how to read at the beginning of the series. Like, like, immortally, eternally 19. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. fairies do change. Like, they do grow and change. That's well, yeah, like, but it's like, not like, like vampires. Presumably slower. Yeah, presumably slower. Like, it's unclear. I don't know. Not really, but like, or just like, are they infinitely more experienced? Because then it's like almost even worse that like Reese is so yeah, much Yeah, I think you know it's I mean? more experience as opposed to brain development. You know what I mean? Like, mm, I think yeah, that's but just then, what like, it is. Yeah, which is like still so much. Like, no, I don't it's know. so fucked up. Yeah, he's so God. much older. Than, I mean, this is such a common trope. Like, it's it's a thing in her Throne of Glass books too. Like, Aelin is also like eighteen, nineteen, and her mm-hmm. BF Rowan. No, I mean, that's is like, like so common. In, like, so many, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, like, like the so many book thing. Fantasy, whatever. And you know what? Like, when yeah. I think about it too hard, it's grody. But most of the time, I don't have to think. I don't think about it too hard. Yeah, I and know. I'm just yeah, like, so I, I don't know whatever. Why I just thought of it just then. Yeah. No, but it is like a val. It's like he's like maybe you should on. deny it. And it's never the woman that you find her attractive. Like it's never the woman. I know. Yeah. Someone write a fantasy book with like a cougar fairy, (laughs) emo goth queen. And there's like not even a word for it when it's like the man. Like yeah. No. Yeah, it's just man and woman. (laughs) Yeah, like older man, younger woman. Gross. So Vera does actually. This is when Vera goes to Aaron's apartment. Aaron's like, yeah, it's it's only like one room and small, so like I never have to host parties and guests. I'm like, just to <laughs> get it me. going. And she is great. Yeah, it's great. It's so much less to clean. Like, yeah, right. I was thinking that the other day, yesterday when I was cleaning. I mean, I always think it, but like, it's so nice to have like a small house. It's like a it's like a non continuous function. Like, if you were to like map out like the size that I have a house, I'd want on the y axis, and then like money on x-axis like it would be a huge discrete jump of size to like the point at which i could afford to have servants but like anything below that <laughs> you're cleaning for yourself like... yeah no absolutely not no but just like a big house feels overwhelming too <laughs> speaking of cleaning wait did yeah. i did i send you the mm-hmm. picture of the so i bought a a carpet scraper th- to scrape out the cat hair that's mm-hmm. like been embedded in the carpet absolutely. oh and smart i okay. did i only did one carpet i did the carpet under the kitchen table yeah and first of all, my my arms were sore, like by like like legitimately, like yeah. my whole Absolutely. arms. Yeah, of course. Like my forearms have never yeah. been sore in my life. I didn't even know they could get sore. Yeah. But second yeah. of all, I scraped <laughs> really? up enough hair, and like I guarantee you that if I went to go scrape it right now, like there would still be hair there coming up. But like at some wow. point, I gotta stop. I scraped up That's enough wild. hair. I could I could have made a whole new cat. Uh, I'm not kidding. Well, I could, like yeah. No, I believe that. Like well. Yeah. Does it work for human hair too? Because I have a vacuum with a brush, but like Kelly, I've wanted to buy like a comb thingy. No, yeah, like, it does. I was, it's the brush. It's thing literally, works fine. it's literally just a scraper. Like, yeah, it's it works. Like, a- well, I was brushing her cat and literally just like was brushing it, kept brushing it, and like literally as much hair as like a whole cat. Like, it's so much. It keeps shedding so much. Wait, that's no, crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, let me. Um, what is the scraper? How much? Yeah, maybe I should get one. It was like eight bucks on Amazon. Mm, absolutely makes sense. Let me forward you. I'm gonna forward you the picture that I took. Mm-hmm. This when I, I first tested it out, the amount of hair that's here is of like one square foot of carpet, and and this that was like <laughs> a light scraping. Like I I did that again, and just as much hair came out. But yeah, it's human. It's like whatever's embedded in the carpet, it just like scrapes that up. <laughs> Wait, you sent me a picture. Yeah. Oh, that's not. Even, I expected way more. That's bare minimum hair. I'm saying twice mm, as much of that is well. Absolutely. That's one square foot. That's one Let me square send you a foot picture. of carpet. Yeah, it's just a corner. Oh, I see. <laughs> that's not the whole carpet. That's just the corner. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you already got half a cat there. I could weave yeah. that. I could like yeah, give that like to the thick. weaver. She could like repair her. Oh, for sure. For, for sure, she'd love that. Look how much just from like, this is just like, this is like the second time I'd already like brushed so much. And this is just like the second time from this cat. Make sure I just sent you. Oh, oh. (laughs) (laughs) 
listener, it's like, do you remember those keychains <laughs> that were like the poofs that were in trend yeah. like a few years ago? Yeah. It's like that. It's like a just so like, like giant a big, ball. yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, and that's background, like background, just like no, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, and that's like the second amount. Like I had even more of that, and then like I did it again. Like I could have kept going. Like. I, yeah, I could get that from the girls if they would sit still long well, enough. Right? No, that's it. this cat actually will, which is really nice of him. Some cats like brushing; it's bizarre. Yeah, no, this one he would like turn every so often so I could get the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, yeah. I still <laughs> need to do the other carpets. I was planned to do them like in short succession but then my arms were so sore and like i was like i'm gonna reactivate my carpal tunnel if i try to like oh keep yeah doing oh yeah because, what do you mean you don't know that your forearms can get sore you boldly had carpal tunnel my carpal isn't tunnel is like... in my wrist oh okay i was it's like not... isn't that i'm talking that about, I'm talking about like part of your body right, yeah. right like next to your elbow yeah, yeah, yeah. like that no, part of the forearm yeah, yeah. yeah no i mean like a... yeah no be careful yeah anyway <laughs> speaking of people that need to be careful Farrah needs to be careful when she goes to wake up Reese from his nightmare because she wakes up and like the whole fucking house is shaking. Does that like, happen now? If you have stuff before that. Oh, I had that before. That's before Aaron's apartment. I skipped over. Okay. okay yeah, go ahead. Oh. Yeah. yeah he's having he's having a nightmare. And of course, we get a nightmare scene like Reese. It's quid pro quo. Like they got to do each other's nightmares. And she comes in and he's almost in beast form. This is another thing. He has the beast form. He's mm. like has like wings and claws yeah, so like and shit. Unclear, yeah, unclear what Tamlin's special power is. Then I don't like, know. Yeah, I have no yeah. idea. She's always like, I'm hesitant to use it because it like comes from the Spring Court. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just stronger than the other ones. He can go like full beast mode, whereas like yeah. Reese is still like somewhat humanoid. I don't know. Yeah, I don't but know. all I'm saying is that if Reese truly wants to heal his trauma, he needs to embrace his beast form. This is what we're getting. <laughs> like he suppresses it. He suppresses it and it comes out. You need to be one with the beast. There's definitely some, I don't know, there's definitely books <laughs> where like that's the plot. The hero learns to become one with the beast or whatever. <laughs> Stop rejecting it. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, she comforts him. That's and they so have sweet. a sweet little moment and they're like, we're both traumatized babies. Flirt, 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 go back to bed. <laughs> Mm-hmm. yeah no it's the classic like person with like a gun or a knife next to their bed or whatever that like almost kills you know like a friendly person coming in but like he is the weapon oh be- <laughs> what he is the weapon we- yeah <laughs> no i what forgot i forgot she does she goes she goes to shake him and he wakes up and i guess thinks she's like amarantha or something like someone mm-hmm. like above him or someone attacking him, like yeah, I'm sure lots of people. Right, want to attack but I him. think the it's blood feud, like the blood rubies. Yeah, she's like, like with How did you get in here? Yeah. Oh, which is really funny because then, like, Varian, that guy was flirting with Amran, apparently sent her like other jewels to like quote unquote soften the blow, like a necklace, yeah, to, like an apology. Like, necklace. sorry about that. He's being a little dramatic. Don't worry. Like, <laughs> like listen, it's the same face. Even, like, bother like we just Reese got about a... that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was pretty. It was pretty bold of you guys, but like. I got it. <laughs> like fine. Like I, I, still I, lo- I know I still what love you. Listen, you, listen. <laughs> you got that whole vault of blood rubies. You got to use them, or they're just gonna go to waste. You know, like you can't just like hoard them. Yeah, for sure. Tarquin's into redistributing the wealth. This is how he's gonna do it. Just send blood rubies to everybody. <laughs> it's tense. And on that cliffhanger, yeah. on that cliffhanger, it's the end of part two. Mm. Tune in for part three. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what the br- how the brush would look if you did it on the carpet in like the rooms. What do you mean, like in the bedrooms? Yeah, or I wonder if it's like let more you vacuum. Know. It's like less dense. I wonder if that's even I gotta like do our pet's outside. hair. You know, well, these are new carpets, aren't they? Are they? I new? thought mom got like all new carpets. I I, I remember he chose them. I remember going with him to like we really look at carpet samples. I yes. remember oh carpets in the bedroom. Yes. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, you're sorry. I just meant from rugs? like the cast. I don't know why. No, I meant the carpets in the bedroom. No, I guess I'm thinking the rugs actually, this bolting might not even be like our pet's hair. It definitely is. But like, it, we it feels like also like mixed with. Yeah. <laughs> it's gray. Yeah. Well, they both have like gray the hair when they shed it. It's bizarre. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is really weird. I found one of Evie's yeah, whiskers for like the underneath. first time. Really? I saw a TikTok a while ago before yeah. I got permanently banned again. Um, mm. about a girl that like Again? she's like here's how you ident 
Well, yeah. You we mean were again, like on from the time it happened to us? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant um, like you got it back and then got it. No, yeah. no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, a girl was like, here's how you like discern like whiskers versus hair. And she's like, and you can collect them. And I have like a little, she had like a little vial of like her cat's whiskers. And then Aww. I was like, you know, normally you learn about that. And then I expected to like see them. But no, mm-hmm. I was I, the, I, the first time I noticed I looked down and like one of Evie's whiskers is just Wait, like you know on the Evie's? ground. I don't know, just vibes. Feels like it okay. would be <laughs> Right. <laughs> Feels like it would be Evie's. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I think Evie was like standing next to me when I saw it. So I was just like, oh, you're the closest cat. It's yours. Oh, I thought you like saw him fall off. That's probably the closest. No, cat. I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All right. Allison, where can they find us? You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at We Read It One Night. You can find us face on uh, Twitter at We Read It Podcast. You can find us on Etsy at Eve- Eve- Evelyn and Adelaide. And you can also buy us a cup of coffee if you're like, I have enough t-shirts and I don't want to buy those to support the podcast, but I do have $5 and I will buy Rachel and Allison a cup of coffee. Yeah. then those are both linked in the description of this episode. So you could go there right now. You don't even have to make an account for buy me coffee. That's why I chose that one. Cause they let you, they let you buy us a coffee without even making an account, which is frankly the greatest barrier to entry to these kinds of things in my mind. <laughs> but yeah. So do that and then leave us a rating and review five stars godspeed comrades godspeed 